Got some new stuff. So we have some exciting stuff today. Um, I'm actually linking up with an old high school college buddy of mine. His name is Andrew. He runs a donut shop. And he came to me with a really cool shoot idea. We're gonna shoot some donuts for his business. So let's see how it goes. There he is, this is Andrew. What's up? What's up, man? Oh, Sweet. wait. Back together again. I haven't seen this guy in like, what? 10? No, not eight 10. Eight years? Eight Maybe years like or something? Oh, it's sick! Yeah, this is all it is. Walk up right now. Donuts. Yeah, that was, that was my... That was my side. I had to throw it together in like five minutes. Oh, we're getting locked in. Uh, what, I'll, what I'll start with then is... I can start dunking and shit. Well, it, yeah. depends, it depends if we want like a backdrop. So... Because then we could like... Yeah, we get really close. They're, to they're totally different than mine. I like them. Okay, so just wrapped the shoot with Andrew. While it's on the tip of my tongue, I wanted to talk to you guys and just share a little bit about the amazing conversation that we had. It's kind of crazy how I've known Andrew since high school. Uh, we went to college together and then our paths kind of differed after that. But it's kind of crazy now that about 10 years later, our paths have now crossed again. We have a lot more in common than I thought, just in regards to taking a leap of faith and starting our own businesses. Um, for Andrew, his calling was the donut shop and for me it was photography and creating my own world through that and it's crazy that no matter what you're doing it seems like all of us have a very similar journey to take a lot of our life satisfaction now comes through going through all of the bouts of uncertainty accepting that we're going to fail to make our dreams a reality because sometimes it can feel like we're alone in our journey and the thing i've realized is that we're far from it We're good on the donut montage. Had to make a quick pit stop. Be right back.
Got a new drone. Okay, so what do you think? This is the new setup going forward. Pretty proud of it. Uh, the, the thing that I'm really proud of though is this is the type of project that I probably would have put off for a really long time. When it, when it comes to these big projects and thinking a little bit too far ahead and how much work is going to be involved, what really helped was that I just got right to it and started doing it. And now here we are at 8 o'clock and we're done. So I think that when everything is said and done, this is a good representation of what my life has become after departing from the standard routine of the life that is expected. I've traded certainty and comfort for the unknown and a journey that may not have a happy ending. But I do know now that I'm not alone. I have my old friend Andrew, I have a new drone, and I still have plenty of time to make something of this unconventional path.